feel alone, babe And when you need to cry, I'll be by As the sun took its last bow before the night, painting the sky in shades of amber and gold, the city of Busan buzzed with anticipation. In the Park Estate's grand ballroom, Mrs. Park directed the staff with a keen eye. More candles on that table, please, and make sure the silver is polished to a shine. She instructed her voice echoing off the high ceilings. Over at the John residence, Mrs. John was equally engrossed in her preparations. Oh, everything must be just right, she said to herself, adjusting a vase of fresh flowers. This ball could be the start of something wonderful for Jungkook. Both mothers in their separate corners of Busan shared a silent hope that the night would bring romance into their sons' lives. Jimin needs someone special, someone who will love him for who he is. Mrs. Park whispered to her husband. And Jungkook, Mrs. John confided to her diary deserves a love as grand as the tales in these old books. As the stars began to twinkle, the stage was set for an evening where dreams might just come true. Min Wayan stepped out of her cozy cottage into the twilight of Busan. Tonight feels different, she murmured, her heart skipping a beat with a mix of nerves and excitement. As she approached the park estate, the grandeur of the ball took her breath away. Welcome, Miss Min, greeted the butler, bowing slightly as he opened the door to a world of splendor. Inside, Wyan was met with a sea of colors and laughter. Ah, you must be mean Wyan. I've heard much about your wit and charm, said Park Jimin, extending his hand with a warm smile. Wyan blushed, taken aback by his directness. Mr. Park, player is all mine. Your home is as welcoming as your reputation suggests, she replied, her voice steady despite her racing heart. Jiang Jungkook stood before the mirror, adjusting his tie with meticulous care. Tonight might just be as interesting one, he said to his reflection, a hint of curiosity in his tone. As he stepped into the lively atmosphere of the ballroom, his gaze was immediately captured by a certain presence. Who is that? He inquired quietly to his friend standing beside him. That's Min Wayan, the talk of the town. His friend replied with a nudge, quite the intellect and beauty they say. Jungkook watched as Wyan moved through the crowd with effortless grace. She does have a certain allure, he admitted, feeling an unfamiliar pull towards her. Perhaps tonight is the night for introductions.
the music swelled as Wayne and Jimin glided across the floor. You dance wonderfully, Wayne, Jimin exclaimed, his laughter mingling with the orchestral tunes. Wayne's cheeks flushed with delight. Thank you, Jimin. I can't remember the last time I felt so free, she replied, her eyes sparkling with joy. As the song ended, Jungkook stepped forward, offering a respectful nod. May I have this dance? He asked, his voice calm yet inviting. Wyan hesitated for a moment, then placed her hand in his. Of course, Mr. John, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. You have a quiet strength about you, Jungkook. It's quite intriguing. Wyan observed, drawn into the depth of his gaze. Jungkook smiled faintly. And you, Miss Min, have a light that seemed to outshine the chandeliers above us, he replied, his words sincere and mired. The dance continued with Wayan caught in a whirlwind of emotions, each step with Jungkook deepening the mystery of her heart's true desire. The ballroom was abuzz with whispers and laughter, but a different sort of whisper travelled between Mr. Park and Mr. Jeon in a quiet alcove. Our plan is working just as we hoped, Mr. Park said with a sly grin. Min Wayan is the perfect match for Jimin. Mr. Jeon nodded, his eyes on his son. And Jungkook seems quite taken with her as well. May the best man win. As the evening unfolded, Jimin and Jungkook found themselves alone, a rare moment of quiet amidst the reverie. Seems we both have an eye for the same star in the sky, Jimin said, his voice light but his eyes serious. Jungkook's gaze was steady. Wine is indeed captivating. I suppose it's only fair to acknowledge we are rivals, he replied, the weight of the situation settling in. The devilation hung in the air, a silent acknowledgement of the competition that lay ahead. Yet despite the brewing, Rivalry. A mutual respect remained for the heart wants what it wants, and neither could fault the other for feeling the pull of Min Wayan's charm. Wayan sat by her window the soft rustle of leaves outside mirroring the restlessness in her heart. Why must matters of heart be so complicated? She sighed, a letter from Jimin on her lap and a thoughtful nod from Jungkook on her desk. Her friend Jenny, who had been a silent observer of Wyan's quandary, finally spoke up. Wyan, you seem to be at a crossroads with Mr. Park's wild charm and Mr. Jeon's serene intellect. Wyan nodded, her gaze lost in the distance. Jimin makes me feel alive, like I can conquer the world, she confessed, her fingers tracing the edges of Jimin's letter. And Jungkook? Jenny brooded. Gently picking up Jungkook's note. Wyan's voice softened. Jungkook brings peace to my soul, 
a quiet harbor in the storm of life she murmured her eyes reflecting the depth of her emotions jenny placed a comforting hand on wyan's listen to your heart wyan it knows the way even when the path seems shrouded in mist as the moon rose high wyan remained deep in thought the dance of fate with jimin and jango playing in her mind each step a question each turn a possibility wyan walked through the gardens her thoughts a whirlwind of emotions jimin joined her not seeing her pensive mood you seem distant today wyan what weighs on your heart he asked concern lining his voice wyan looked up at him her eyes reflecting the turmoil within it's just I have been trying to understand my feelings and it's not easy. She confessed, her voice a soft whisper. Jimin took her hand gently. I hope that in time your heart finds clarity. Know that my own heart is certain and it beats for you, he said, his gaze earnest. Wine felt a warmth spread through her, a sense of rightness. Jimin, I she began, then paused, searching for the words. I feel a connection with you that I cannot deny. Your kindness, your laughter, they've become a part of my day I cherish. As they stood there, the world around them seemed to fade, leaving only the truth that had quietly grown between them. Wyan's heart had made its choice. The moon hung high over Busan, casting a serene glow on the park stage's lush gardens. Jian Jian Gook with a quiet resolve wandered through the verdant paths seeking solace in the night's calm. His steps were silent, his thoughts loud. As he rounded a bend, the soft murmur of voices drew his attention. Hidden by copses of willows, he saw Min Wyan and Park Jimin, their heads close together in conversation. Jungkook stirred, his heart sinking as he watched the scene unfold. So it's true, he whispered to the night, the words escaping like a surrender. Jimin's laughter reached him. light and carefree and wine's response a gentle giggle was like a melody that jungo realized he would never call his own he took a step back retreating into the shadows his presence unnoticed i wanted to be the reason for that smile wine he thought a pang of longing threading through his chest His friend Yuan Wu found him there a figure of quiet contemplation. Jungkook, what are you doing out here alone? Yuan Wu asked, concern his tone. Jungkook turned a mask of composure settling over his features. Just needed some fresh air. 
The night is beautiful, isn't it? He deflected, his eyes betraying a hint of the emotion he held at bay. Yun Wu followed Jung Gook's gaze, understanding, dawning. Ah, I see. Sometimes love is a quiet ache we carry. He said, placing a sportive hand on Jung Gook's shoulder. Jung Gook nodded. The weight of unspoken words heavy in his heart. Yes, and sometimes it's silent goodbye. He replied, his gaze lingering on the couple one last time before turning away, leaving behind the whisper of what might have been. Jungkook sat alone on a bench in the quiet of the garden, the moon casting long shadows on the path. It seems the heart has its own journey. He mused aloud, a tinge of sorrow in his voice. His friend Yun Wu approached with a concerned look. You've been out here for a while, Jungkook. What's on your mind? Jungkook's gaze was distant. I've come to realize that my hand's heart belongs to another, to Jimin, he said, the words heavy with resignation. Yunbu sat beside him, offering a silent solidarity. You are a good man, Jungkook. Wine is missing out on someone who could have given her a word of happiness. Jungkook managed a smile. Perhaps, but love is not about possession. It's about wanting the best for the other, even if it means stepping aside. He replied, his voice steady but tinged with melancholy. As the night deepened, Jungkook accepted his heartache, knowing that his path would lead him away from Wyan towards a future yet unwritten. As twilight painted the sky in hues of fading orange and purple, Jungkook found Jimin alone looking out over the rolling hills that bordered Busan. Jimin, may I speak with you? Jungkook's voice was steady. But there was an undercurrent of emotion that didn't go unnoticed. Jimin turned, his expression open and inviting. Of course, Jungkook. What's on your mind? Jungkook took a deep breath, his gaze fixed on the horizon. It's about Wyan. I've, I've had feelings for her, strong ones, he admitted, the words heavy with an unspoken ache. Jimin's eyes softened, a silent understanding passing between them. I had a feeling, Jungkook. I'm sorry if this has caused you pain. He said, his voice sincere. Jungkook shook his head slightly, 
a sad smile tugging at the corners of his mouth. Don't be. It's not your fault. Seeing you two together, it's clear she's happy. And that's what matters, he said. His voice changed with a bittersweet resolve. Jimin reached out, placing a hand on Jungkook's shoulder. You're a good man, Jungkook, and a true friend. Wine is lucky to have someone who cares about her happiness as much as you do. The two men stood in silence, the weight of the conversation lingering in the air. As the stars began to twinkle above, Jungkook felt a sense of peace settled over him. The pain of unrequited love was still there, but so was the comfort of knowing that Wyan's smile was genuine and her happiness real. The morning sun cast a gentle light through the windows of the park estate, where Wyan and Jimin stood side by side, a future of shared dreams ahead of them. Can you believe this day has finally come, Wyan? Jimin asked, his hand finding hers. Wyan's smile was radiant. It feels like a dream, one I never want to wake from," she replied, her eyes shining with happiness. Jungkook, who had been a silent strength throughout the unfolding events, approached them with a gracious smile. I must say, you do make quite the pair. He said, his voice warm with genuine affection. Jimin clasped Jungkook's shoulder, a bond of respect between them. Thank you, Jungkook. Your friendship means the world to us, especially today. He said, acknowledging the path they had all walked to reach this moment. Wyan reached out, taking Jungkook's hand in hers. Your blessing means more than you know. We hope to honor it by living a life full of love and joy," she added, her gratitude clear. As guests began to fill the room, the air buzzed with excitement. The union of Wyan and Jimin was more than a marriage. It was a testament to the enduring power of love friendship and the unexpected journeys that bring them together. In the tapestry of life, love weaves a thread of varied hues, each stitch a choice, each color a bond, creating a masterpiece of the heart's own making. Oh, 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 oh,